All right, it's Christmas Eve. It's December 24th, 2019. There's Spencer. And there's Mom. Okay, Mom, you ready? Yep. Um, if you had to do it all over again, what profession or what... What would you have, a profession or what would you have pursued in life and why? I still would like to have been a nurse. I haven't changed my mind. Really? Like why I want to be a nurse? Yeah. I'm interested in medicine, period. I'm, in, I'm interested in uh, medicine, in, you know, diseases and how people react to them, what they do about them how they deal with it. Some people, everybody's different when they have a, dis, a disease, how they deal with it. Um, let's see, try that enough? That's enough. Okay, question number two. Who have been your heroes in life? I had a lot of them, I really have. I don't know how to answer that one. I really don't. There's been a lot of people in my life. Just name some of them. You don't have to name all of them. All right. Just right off the top. Who comes to mind right away? Lotus, Lotus Ladoff. Because she was, she gave me a break when I needed one. She gave it to me. I needed to, uh, I needed to get a job that I could sit, sit down and do my work, my school work, when, was, when I was training to be a nurse, and I got just the right patient, and she suggested it, and she, got, she told me about the job, and, she, and, and that was a good thing because I, I was taking care of them, but yet I could do my, my homework at night. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. Yep. Um, my mother, my mother's been I like to I like to be half the woman she was. So I love I love to be, but you know how she never thought about herself ever. Yep. Um. I two mother-in-laws kind of. Jimmy's mother was quite a woman. Jimmy's mother, yeah. The nice woman. And Sarah? And Sarah. I was close to her. I used to look up to her for a lot of ways. She taught me a lot of those different things. And she kept me positive. She always had a positive answer for things. She, was, she wasn't negative. My mother could be negative, but she wasn't at all. Remember how Gravy could be negative about things? Yep. But she, Sarah wasn't at all. Uh, girlfriends. I've had a couple of good friends. And Debbie was a good friend of me, Jer Debbie Journey. I don't know what's happened to her. We gotta find Debbie. All right. What do you admire most about your mother? I know we already talked about this tonight, but that is one of the questions. So go for it, Mom. Let me get you from this angle, too, a little bit. <laughs> my mother, well, how she never thought about herself, and she gave it. A, she gave it her all. She she did the best she could with her life. She didn't hold back on anything. She worked hard. That's that's what I'm thinking about, my mother. All right, what's the last one? Two more. Question number four. What is your biggest regret? Marrying your father. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was just that it, it, the whole thing was not just your, well, not to do with your father and all. No, I hear way. you though. You were so young. Hmm? You were so young. Uh, yeah. I was too young. What you crying about? You hearing that? 
So if you hadn't married him, what do you think would have happened? If things had gone well, what do you imagine would have been? Oh, I probably would have married somebody else that didn't work out too. Who knows? I'm just saying, you know, I probably would, would, would uh, girls, girls around that time, they weren't get, getting married too young anyway. You know, there wasn't many people getting married young like that as I was. Yeah. Oh, just the average. I didn't hear nothing about life at that time anyway, you know. Okay, final question. What are you most proud of? <laughs> My children. Yeah. I would say that. That's it. That's it? Yep. Case closed? My children. If you're one of them. They love you, Mom. I love you, too. <laughs>